Welcome to the channel about news from around the world. While you subscribe and like it, we're going to start. The authorities in the Nordic countries are urging the population to heed the recommendations of local scientists and switch to vegetables, fish and soya products after drastically reducing beef consumption. The regional governments have welcomed the recently published report of the expert group analyzing the diets of the Nordic and Baltic population and have urged meat eaters to change their objectionable habits in order to fight climate warming. It is very difficult to seriously discuss a crusade against beef, but Scandinavian scientists, in considerable numbers, and the governments supporting their vegetarian ideas are business-minded and clearly not joking. The whole racket could even be described as funny, and this is how it would have been assessed until quite recently, before the most zealous climate activists got down to reducing the number of cows in Europe that thoughtlessly pollute the atmosphere with huge amounts of methane. Moreover, authorities and activists have taken aim at school lunch rations and meals in nursing homes, with the intention of starting to wean northerners off beef. And these plans also apply directly to the population of the Baltic states, about which the report of the cow's foes also mentions and the Baltic states can be compelled to change their menus even earlier than residents of, say, Sweden or Norway, because by virtue of poverty of their budgets the Baltic authorities can be tempted to save money on food for children and the elderly. Moreover, the eagerness of Estonian politicians, in particular, to somehow, check out, of what is considered in Tallinn to be an insufficiently advanced Eastern Europe and, move, to a Northern Europe could play a bad trick on the population. Estonia is pushing with all its small forces in the international arena the idea of belonging not to the region to which it geographically belongs, i.e. not to Eastern Europe, but somehow closer to Sweden, Finland or Norway. So, gastronomic climatic ideas of Scandinavians may well be picked up in Tallinn, even despite its almost reverent attitude to Estonian red cows. There is already a problem with beef in the country along with lamb, it has almost universally disappeared from menus of inexpensive cafes and eateries due to its high price and, as a result, falling demand. But so far this is only the consequence of rampant inflation in Estonia and not governmental program for reduction of cows in accordance with the recommendations of Nordic scientists. It is hoped that the government will not do anything against beef and the state connoisseurs closely associated with it in the future as well. The much-publicized report of the Nordic Dietary Advice shows how much importance the Nordic authorities, who are very much concerned about global warming, have decided to attach to it. It is this, or more precisely the EU's green programs, that are becoming the verdict for Europe's parapods. The problem of these wonderful and extremely useful animals is their digestion. More precisely, the cow digestion is not a problem for them and their owners, but the climate activists are concerned with it. And they never tire of reminding us that cows are responsible for the lion's share of greenhouse gases emitted by European agriculture. They are, how shall I put it intelligently, continuously emitting methane. And climate warriors are extremely angry about it. Thus, if Brussels really wants to fulfill its commitment to defeat greenhouse gases, talk about the need to start reducing the European population of cloven hoofed animals has been growing in recent years. Northerners should therefore reduce their consumption of beef and switch to products whose production does not contribute to a warmer climate. Vegetables, fish and undervalued soya products. The illustration in the report, designed to somehow enliven the grim conclusions of cow foes, depicts average northerners eating something non-meat with smiles. To minimize the impact on the environment, meat consumption should be replaced by increased consumption of plant foods such as pulses and fish from sustainably managed stocks, says a scientific report on politically correct eating in the face of climate change. The report is big, at nearly 400 pages, so hardly anyone could cope with the work, but commentators who eulogize it pretend to have read it cover to cover. And they do not seem to be offended by the suggestion to start weaning the population off beef from schools and old people's homes. The Northerners are disciplined and trust scientists. Their recommendations are taken as a basis and widely used when preparing menus and diets in schools, hospitals and care homes for the elderly in both Northern Europe and the Baltic states. The council considers it necessary to focus on soya, which is now mainly used to feed livestock and could enrich people's diets as a substitute for red meat. Politically correct and atmosphere-friendly soy instead of cows and beef is the main idea of both the authors of the study and the Nordic Council. 
It is difficult to say to what extent the authors of this idea took into account, say, the fact that soy prefers a warmer climate than that characteristic of northern Europe. This means that if northerners, starting with children, take the revolutionary idea of replacing beef with a grain legume plant seriously, they will have to buy it in very large quantities from Brazil, the United States, Argentina or China. Which is not good for both the livestock farmers of the north and for the foreign trade balance as well as the food security of the Nordic countries. Not to mention the health of humans, who, contrary to Brussels policy, remain carnivorous creatures, i.e. in need of proteins and amino acids contained only in meat. That is if we seriously discuss the plan itself to break up relations with cows. Which you probably shouldn't do. It is better to talk about the strange things going on in the heads of some European politicians, who have decided to sacrifice logic and pragmatism for the sake of dubious ideas to fight the digestive peculiarities of paranipeds. Thank you for watching. If you're interested, subscribe and leave a comment.